Rachel, unfortunately, we only got time for one, and I just want to piggyback that conversation that we just heard from LeBron about fatigue. I know you spoke to him about that very topic. What did he share with you? Look, he has been pushing this team since the trade deadline, and we have been seeing through these playoff series, once they start getting to every other every other day, which is what this series is now, we have been seeing the effects of it. Remember back in Game 7 of the Indiana series where at the beginning of the game he was like, I'm playing the whole game, all 48, and then his body cramped up? His body has been under so much stress for months now trying to carry this team, and we are seeing it. So they are going to have to have other players who step up and make it easier for him in game six, or they are going to be going home. There's just no other way to say that. Also, you have to remember about LeBron. He thinks about this stuff a lot. You talked about his near photographic memory. The problem with remembering everything, Scott, is that you remember everything, right? <laughs> so he always talks about how he doesn't he doesn't sleep that much during the playoffs. And in all seriousness, so because he's thinking about everything. So that is adding to this as well. So it's, it's an interesting mix. We are watching, obviously, someone who can do what he has done, drop 46 different times in 15, 16 postseason games. But it's going to get harder and harder from here on out. Well, and there's plenty for him and his Cavalier teams to think about right now, given the situation they find themselves in.